Sarah Jesse, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Welcome to my interview location. Thank As you. Though you've probably never been here before. <laughs> I don't know what this place yeah. is. It's, all, it's, a, it's an exclusive location. <laughs> I'm sharing it with you today to ask you some questions. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Jesse, how are you? I can't keep a straight face right now. That's perfect. I just want to ask you some questions. You can smile. <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to smile. This is the <laughs> only place in Let's Make Art Smiling you can smile. is good. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with a simple question. Sure. We're Who are you about, talking to? We're ta both of you. Great. We're talking to both of you. Uh, this is about your Maybox in question. Okay. What is your favorite item? And you two choose who goes first. You go first. Ooh. Nose goes. <laughs> what is, Jesse? what is your favorite item in this month's box? Well, I just got really excited about this. <laughs> so <laughs> <are> really cool. <laughs> okay, we can talk about, we can talk about mine. I, okay. <laughs> laying around I was like what kind of sneaky tape is this and I tried it and oh my gosh and I didn't know where what it came where it came from but it's like neato okay this is my favorite tape for watercolor like it's so good I'm so excited for you guys <laughs> to try it and it's the bonus item for May um and I'm gonna tell you why I love it okay please do. okay I for <laughs> okay <laughs> one it does not tear it it like because sometimes the blue tape will tear even if you try and do it super careful this one i've only seen it tear like once and i was being really aggressive and you shouldn't be that way with <laughs> tape and watercolor paper so it doesn't tear it's clear ish so you could see the edges when you tape it down and you can tell if it's straight or crooked you can see the paper edges which that's i nice. love that's nice um and the last thing that I really love about it is that it's not an aggressive color because sometimes the blue, when you're, when you're painting and looking at things compositionally and you have a really vibrant, saturated color that's going around the entire border of your painting, it actually throws off your eye a little bit when you're trying to compose a painting. So I love that it's just like a neutral. So overall magic tape. Overall my favorite tape. And it's gonna be in your box and it's so, so good. I used it to just tape down my graphite paper and stuff in place, and I did, it didn't rip my journal paper or anything like that. So yeah, nice. it's so good. Wait, so, so good. was that a double favorite? I mean, that's in. It's, wait, what about <laughs> your box? I can like vouch for that tape. Along with <laughs> um, this time we're gonna do tags in the journal, which I think kind of gives you like a less scary, like play around with it because it's not on the actual page, but then you can put it in a page and add dimension. So we're going to do Sweet. some like swivels. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. gosh. And some like little, little pop-ups. I love the tags too, because I actually saw Jesse playing with the tags and, um, you get like the coolest textures that you guys can play with colors and the collage paper and different words and stuff. And I think it's a fun way to explore techniques and then you can like choose where to put it in your journal. And I feel like it's a great way to like test stuff without feeling like this is a spread exactly. that I have to like perfectly put together. Like it's just play and then you can utilize it. A lot yeah. of fun. Just have fun and then pick out your favorites and put them in and then you got something really great. That's so great. I love it. That is so great. <laughs> <laughs> These tags are so cool. <laughs> Very excited. Okay. It goes along with the journey. Is that the collage thing. paper? Yeah. <gasps> Look how pretty Show that us is. Show more. Look how pretty that pattern is on that collage paper. With oh, that I textures. I love the quote too. Leave your fear behind you. Yeah. Uh, lovely. Cool. Nice. Thanks, y'all. Okay. So then, Jesse again, mm. since we started with you. Actually, let's flip the script. Okay. Sarah. Yeah. What inspired you to create these projects? and the theme for this box. Okay, well, I don't totally work in themes the same way that Jesse does, um, but what I was thinking about when creating this box is I was thinking about the the days coming up, and in May, we have Mother's Day, mm. and in June, we have Father's Day, and then I thought, like, I would love to put projects in there that could serve for both of these purposes so we have the rose we're going to do like a realistic detailed version of a rose using wet on wet technique and layering and i'm really excited for that and then i also put in this like vintage truck antique painting oh, the it's textures on that are so good it's monochromatic and it's like sepia and i for fall 
for Father's Day for me that I've done for my fathers in the past is I've actually painted some of their favorite things in coffee. So it has that oh. warmth. So that's why I chose like sepia and, um, and like a vintage truck. I actually did something very similar for my father-in-law for Father's Day about 10 years ago and he loved it. And I did a Porsche for my dad because my dad loves Porsches and um, I did an airplane as well. So I just wanted to put something in there where you guys would have options where if you wanted to paint a gift to give to a mother figure or father figure in your life, then those are ready to go. And then the other projects are just like desert landscape, gorgeous color, mm -hmm. transitions. We're going to be doing layering. And then the avocados, really just fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that you put in projects like that because I feel like when I want to go for the big project I kind of need a warm up so like the avocado and the desert landscape I can get my confidence I'm like okay yeah I can do that and then I can go after the one that seems a little hard even though you make it all look easy Jesse, <laughs> you're making me feel so good right now <laughs> it's good stuff so Jesse what was your inspiration um I was just thinking it would be fun to explore journeys as a theme and <clears throat> you know I, when I originally thought through, well, okay, what are 2021 themes? I thought, well, people might be traveling a little more than they are. Mm. And our traveling might be a little bit different where we're, we're not traveling as far or as often. Um, but I thought it would be fun to also include different types of journeys in our life besides the physical going places and using the tags as sort of a luggage tag sort of way to tell those stories. And so, um, yeah, the prompts are just kind of going off of different kind of journeys that we have in life. I really love this idea too because I know that for us, I mean, this last year and so has been like so difficult and it's, I feel like even though we can't necessarily travel, we can start to, which is nice, but like really like this internal journey too. I love the idea that, that you put together that we can explore different things without actually having to physically go there. And it's really just allowing our mind to do these exercises and like ask questions to ourselves and play. We can be on this internal self journey um, and it ties it with the, with the travel tag. So I love that idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of fun to make. Um, I did, a, well, not to give too much away, but one of the um, prompts is about um, baggage claim and I thought you could easily talk about what your baggage is but I thought it'd be more mm. fun as a prompt to explore like what do you want to bring with you what do you want to claim in oh, your journey oh so, I love that idea that so, is so cool thanks what you can claim in your journey like yes this is mine this is what I'm mm -hmm. doing even if it's not something you you have right now but yeah. it's something that you want to have in your journey moving forward whether it's like physical emotional whatever kind of journey I also love that it's like this positive spin where like baggage we associate with something negative where instead it could be like no everybody has something and let's set goals of like what we want to carry with us yeah. dang Jess I love, I'm excited I to love it <laughs> being a hype video for both of you. We're just going to save this and watch this every night. <laughs> yes. High five. So then what are you looking forward to most in the May box? For, I, for, for painting and creating. What are you looking forward to painting or creating in this month the most? I love just seeing the community come together and see what they come up with because it's everybody's interpretation is different. It's just so fun to see that. I love that. I think this would be a good one to see. I just love this freaking tape. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to love it as much as I do because I, it's actually funny because Kaden's like, here's some tape. Somebody wants you to try. And I was like, whatever, you know, <laughs> I like put it away. And then one day I started using it and I was like, Keenan, this is the best tape. You have to get it. I stole it off her desk just because I couldn't find the blue tape, whatever I had. We steal like, tape from each other all what? the time. <laughs> oh, no one told me about this. The magical tape. This. The tape of one. I wanted to keep it, but I was like, she only has one roll. I know she's gonna miss it. <laughs> I can't just steal it. You're gonna want to steal this tape. Okay, for our last question, ladies, sure. what will you learn as you paint or create in May? What will you learn? Well, <clears throat> we talked about kind of the idea behind the box a little bit more and what I was going for, but what I try to do with most of my boxes is give you guys opportunities to learn watercolor in different ways and applications because there's different techniques and the techniques stay the same but how you apply those techniques depending on the project will give you more information and so like with the avocado we're doing 
wet on dry layering as well as wet on wet. And we're gonna play with salt. We're gonna be playing with values. Um, with the truck, we're really focusing on um, monochromatic, which means one color, which is a super, super helpful lesson when you're trying to understand value. And the rose is a great way to, um, there's like that accidental element with watercolor where if you drop it in, you get those really cool blooms and textures. Yes. So we are using that, but we're doing it in a controlled way where we're being very particular about where we're placing it. So then you get those really cool accidental things, but they're purposely on the edge of the petals. Cause you know how flower oh, petals yeah. have that like- Ripple. Yeah, that yeah. ripple and that color um, transition. Yes. So I'm really excited about that. And the desert landscape, we're really playing with layering colors because I love that watercolor has the ability to be like the white of the paper, but with the desert landscape, we're like layering the color so much that it's like saturated and it's not as transparent as we usually go with watercolor. So I think it's fun to introduce a new element. So we'll be, we'll be going over all of those things and I'm excited for you guys to play with me. Yeah, I was like, I thought that desert desert landscape one was super vibrant. I was like, whoa, that's like yeah. rich color. And I'm, I'm interested to see how that unfolds. Just so many layers. <laughs> Just, keep going. <laughs> Just layer so cake. many it's like layers. A layer of cake. <laughs> Who doesn't love layered cake? Not me. I don't. <laughs> not don't. Lo I love layered cake. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of layer cakes. <laughs> The, what we'll learn in our journaling is just a lot of fun textures. This one's actually called Dreamy Texture. Mm. Um, and wait, what is this? This is like a little something where um, we added in the box for texture. Should I not have asked that? <laughs> <laughs> well, sneak. Well, it's sneak. beautiful. They'll either get a blue or a purple, but I just thought it would be fun to throw in there. So Dreamy Textures and working in a series is really what we're trying to, trying to learn this month. Great. What do you mean by working in a series? Oh, because the tags sort of free us up from the page so we could do a couple at a time. Okay. And so you could take a couple of tags at a time and do the gesso and have fun with like playing the texture, maybe circles on this one mm. or, you know, straight lines on this one and then go back and apply the paint all at once. So you're not like so stuck on finishing this one piece, oh, but like working so in a series. So it's like batch working mm -hmm. almost. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I think that kind of frees us up creatively. And then the texture is always just fun to layer the gesso and then see where the paint falls um, around it so yeah well, that's very Great. exciting <laughs> you could probably even take some of the projects and combine these ideas too mm -hmm. like the desert landscape i was just envisioning like as like almost a background too to some of these tags yes. where you're just like maybe writing a memory of a place you travel to or something like that or I didn't read through your prompts but you guys will probably come up with really creative ways yeah, of how to combine some, them. I have seen some crossover yeah. um, where they're putting some of the paintings in with our journal and I love seeing that it gives me a lot of ideas it's really fun. I love seeing it too because I think when people can utilize new media and like trying things in different ways, I see it in watercolor too where people are taking ideas like the white pen or gesso and texture and stuff and layering and playing. And also I think I love the idea of just being thoughtful when you're painting about things and having an intention. I love that you said an intention. So we just love that you guys combine things sometimes. It's so great. We love to see it. Please keep going. <laughs> we love it. Keep sharing. Okay. Well, ladies, thank you. Uh, I'm going to leave, so you Ooh. also have to leave. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we'll see you guys later. Great. Thank you. See ya. Bye.